So today we're going to be doing what's called the traffic light experiment. Now, first of all, health and safety. We've got gloves because one of the things we're using, sodium hydroxide, um, is a skin irritant. So we don't want that getting on our skin. Um, and as always in a laboratory, we're going to wear um, goggles. Now, as I said, we have sodium hydroxide. We have glucose. We have two small beakers. And we have two large beakers, as well as indigo carmine. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be reducing sodium hydroxide with the glucose and what that will do is it will change the shape, or it will change the chemical structure of um, sodium hydroxide and as it changes we should see a colour change in our solution, hence the traffic light experiment. <laughs> So the first step in any experiment is weighing out um, all your ingredients, much like when you make a cake, for instance. Um, so we're going to put this empty pot on. You see it already registers a weight, so we need to do what's called tearing, which sets it to zero. And now any, only things that go in the pot count, not the pot itself. We're going to measure the glucose first. We need 12 grams of glucose. We're going to need a lot of spoonfuls of glucose. Right. Oh. Okay, so just take small amounts out until we've reached. As you can see, it's quite precise. I'm putting in granule by granule now. And there we go. Uh, you can't decide, but there we, are, we, have, we have it. 12 grams of glucose. Let's get rid of the excess in there. So again, we're going to tear the scales. Okay, and then, now we're going to weigh our sodium hydroxide, which we're going to need 6 grams. These are larger, larger crystals, it's going to be easier to measure these. Harder to get it precise though. One more spoonful should do. Crystal by crystal until we get it perfect. Okay, I don't think we're going to get it any closer than that because if we put another crystal in, it'll just go over. And then again we tear. And this time we're going to need 0 0.04 grams of indigo carmine. It's quite a precise amount. So I'm going to use the smaller spatula for this. Yeah, good job. Okay, so we have 0 0.4 and that's our ingredients measured. Okay, so we've measured out our glucose, we have 12 grams. What we need to do now is dissolve it in the water. So we'll just pop it into the water. Make sure I'm going to get everything out. As much as possible. And then we just stir. Now this is going to take a while, so if you'd like to join me when I've finished, that'd be fantastic. So the glucose is now nicely dissolved within our 750 millilitres of uh, water. So we're now going to add the indicator, which is uh, indigo carmine. We haven't got very much of this, so be gentle. This is what's going to provide the colour for us to see the colour change when we get further along in the experiment. So I'm just going to give this a quick stir. 
you see that it's got a nice dark indigo colour. Excellent. Right. Fantastic. Okay, so with 250 millilitres of water, we're going to put our crushed up sodium hydroxide. Now, when we measured it out, it was in quite large crystals. It's not going to dissolve in water that way. So we've um, used a pestle and mortar just to, to um, grind it up a bit, make it into smaller pieces so it's easily dissolvable within water. So I will just pop this into 250 millilitres of water. Once this is done, we just need to give this a stir. There we go. We'll just give this a quick stir, make sure it's all nicely dissolved within the water. Excellent. Okay, now we've got our 250 millilitres of um, water with sodium hydroxide dissolved in. We have our 750 millilitres of water with indigo carmine, which provides the colour, and the 12 grams of uh, glucose um, within this solution. Now, all we're going to do is pour the sodium hydroxide solution into the, 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 uh, the main solution. And we should see, hopefully, a colour change occurring. Excellent. Now, as you can see, it's changed to green. And then what we need to do is we're going to pour this green solution into this, this beaker from a height. This could be, uh, it's, it's slowly from a height. You should see another colour change as this happens. Never mind. The traffic light experiment. Obviously we start off with green. Hopefully we're going to move through to yellow any second now. And as you could probably predict, we'll end up with a red solution at the end. If the re reduction um, occurs, of course. 